But now let's come back to Dantian. At Dantian, we say, okay, we try to build a quantity of a tree. And uh, how can we build a quantity? Should we eat more food? Eat more food, it become more fat. It's not eat more food. Because in ancient time, the Taoists, they are looking for an elixir. Elixir is some chemicals they can find, they can purify. Then the main thing they think about from the lead, from the mercury, they can produce the elixir. But eventually, kill you. Because what they did, that's why they killed the first emperor. Because the first emperor wanted to live forever. That's a good thing. <laughs> because it's a tyrant. OK, but anyway, but later they realized the real elixir is in your body. So that's what they call this area, called Dantian, elixir field. Elixir, that means chi, can produce more chi. OK, now we talk about this. <coughs> Because that's all related to what we call breathing. Okay, I draw the big guy like that, so you know. This is the very bottom, one inch, one and a half inch, this is a Dantian. Dantian called Elixir Field. The same place, acupuncture they call Chi Hai, it's Chi Ocean. Okay, that doesn't mean the place can accumulate Chi can supply chi like an ocean. Remember, one from medical science, the other ones come from the Taoist. Both agree this area can produce a lot of chi. Questions, why here? Why here? This one that I put a lot of thinking, because since I was young, I was thinking, why this place called Dantian? How come it cannot be here, cannot be here, 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 whatever. Why it has to be here? Okay, and I keep thinking. I even fly all the way to Wisconsin. There's a surgery. The doctor Benson here for surgery. He invited me to go there to take a surgery. He called open it layer by layer. This is a patient. He explained to me layer by layer. I see the structure here alive. That I know exactly what the structure there. Amazing part, this structure here is different from any other places. This one is a bacon. Because there are six layers, six layers. It's not one or two, six layers. Muscle, fat, muscle, fat, muscle, fat. Actually, fat actually is a fascia. Muscle is good conductor. Fat, fascia, poor conductor. Good conductor, poor conductor. Good conductor, poor conductor. Six layers together in this area. What does it mean to you? Good conductor, poor conductor, good conductor. It's battery, it's structural battery. Okay, now, this one interprets why here can store the chi. But question, how can this one produce the chi? Produce quantity of chi? Because the question is here, they say through the abdominal movements, through these abdominal movements, then you can produce more chi. They call, they call the, uh, convert original essence into chi. That sentence is wrong. Because when you do this exercise, you're converting the fat into the chi. Okay, now, from, if this statement is right, what is the fat? Why is the fat? Fat is the extra food we eat. Remember, when you eat the food, when you eat the food after the eat, then the body take what you need. You have an extra, either they're going out or store in the body. And all animals, I don't care, your dog or whatever, when they overeat, this one is fat. Then I try to think about why. Then I say, okay, now we go back to before we call civilized. Go to the human evolved from the ancient time. We are the same as animal. We hunt and we eat. One day you can get up animals, say, okay, oh, good, yummy, yummy for a week. After that, it can be a few days without food. So I talk the same thing in the safari with the the rangers, they say, yeah, lion, a lion, they charge three times a day. If it's three times they cannot get animals, they're starving. It's not every day they can get animals. A lot of times, three, four days, no animals. They can be starved. And the question is, when you're starving, are you going to die? No, that's because when you have extra food, the body stored, where they stored here. But you can argue, say, yes, I have a fight here, I have a fight here. Yeah, like through this exercise, you can see the fat disappear through exercise. That means fat continue converted into the energy. 
equation. These are five converted into energy. They're going out. Most going out. Doesn't stay. Only partial of the energy going back to the organ. That's called external elixir. When you talk about external elixir, like your arm exercise, this exercise, yeah, it converts the fat into the chi and the chi nourishing your organ. That's from outside in, they call internal external elixir. But you build the chi in the center, it's spread it out. They call internal elixir. Okay, now, so this area, now, chi most of it dissipated. How about here? So here, this exercise question is in the conceptual governing vessel. Okay, that's what we talk about about here. Eight vessels. Eight vessel inside conceptual vessel. Remember, body have a 12 channels. 12 chi channel. Channel is like a rivers. That's a river, that means the chi have to circulate smoothly. Okay, that's a river, Chinese called Jing primary channels. The body have a vessel. A vessel, the vessel is a reservoir, chi reservoir. V O I R. Okay, chi reservoir. What's the reservoir do? What's the function of reservoir? Storing. To store and to release, to regulate the water in the rivers. If the river's water is low, then you release it. If the river's water is high, you store it. Yeah, like a lake, like a swamp. Naturally, we have that lake and swamp to do that. Now we build an artificial reservoir. Okay, so the vessel is important, but then in acupuncture, they talk of vessel called extraordinary vessels. They call strange vessels because to acupuncturists, they don't know too much. Inside the eight vessels, only two vessels they use it often. The other six vessels, they don't touch it. Okay, so the question is, when the vessel energy is high, then that means river always can be regulated. When the vessel energy is low, then the, if the river's energy is low, it cannot regulate it. So that's why to Qigong practitioner, it's so important. How do I fill up these two vessels, uh, these eight vessels? And where these eight vessels energy come from? Remember this reservoir? Energy come from where? Come from Dantian. Because you have to see where is the resources of the water. Yeah. Reservoir, it can be just store, release. It's a capacitor. It's not the battery. Battery pure produce the energy. Okay, so because the reason a vessels, inside there are two vessels. We talk about these two vessels now. One vessel is from mouth area, going down to here. These are called conceptional vessel. Conception vessel, conception that means obligation, responsible, responsible for six in organs of energy circulation. Then from perineum all the way past here, go to the palate of mouth, they call governing vessel. This is young vessel. Governing vessel is govern six young channel energy. Okay, have you thought about that? How important this is. The body have eight vessels. Only these two vessels already regulate 12 channels energy. That means if energy is abundantly circulating in these two vessels, then all 12 channels energy is strong. That's why this one is foundation of muscle tendon change, small circulation. Small circulation is the foundation of muscle tendon change because when the energy is abundant circulating these two by body, Strength can be developed, includes internal organs. You, you got an idea? So muscle tendon change, this is outside. Remember earlier we talked about it. All right? So when you go to the night time, you can see the energy go to center line. It's a thrusting vessel. Thrusting does mean go through quickly. But today, scientists say spinal cord because the highly electric connective tissue, it goes through like that. Yeah, but in 2,000 years ago, Chinese name called thrusting vessel. Is that time they already know that. So this two is one, one is two. Okay, so nighttime, daytime, our energy here. That's because nighttime you sleep, the daytime we wake up, you start moving your arm, move your leg. When you move your arm, you move your leg, that's when 12 channel energy starts circulating heavily, 
when circulating heavily, where the energy come from? Come from the vessel. So this start activating smoothly, very fast in the morning when you wake up. So the daytime, the circulate heavily. Nighttime, inhale longer than exhale. Now, midnight, energy go to center line. Oh, when the energy go to center line, what happened? Pineal gland, picture the gland, produce hormones. You check the Western science. Where this, uh, this gland produce hormone? Midnight. Where the adrenal produce hormone? Midnight. Where is the testicle ovary produce hormone? Midnight. That means what? How many guys, when you wake up midnight, this one, stick up. You don't even think about sex. That's because the hormone is production. Well, that means what? When the hormone production midnight, that means the body cell replacement heavily happened at nighttime. So that means the body cell replacement happened at nighttime while your body is so relaxing. Okay, so that's when sleeping is so important, help you recover. Okay, but questions, it start with midnight. Usually, take a time, you look at the human lifestyle, go back to a long time ago, human style. Even just beginning of last century. Sunset, couple hours, we go to sleep. Early morning, before sunrise, go, 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 we wake up. That's how human evolved. 